We're going to do a partial fraction decomposition. Now, this problem was nice enough to already give us the denominators here. So we didn't have to do the algebraic part of factoring this 8x squared minus 10x plus 3. So that was pretty nice. So they already told us 2x minus 1, 4x minus 3. Now these are both linear factors, degree one. So in the numerator, we're gonna put a degree zero polynomial, which is a constant. If this was square, meaning degree two, we'd need a linear or degree one uh, in the numerator. It does not, so we don't need that. But that's how we would deal with it if it was squared. Of course, if it's cubed, you would need a square uh, degree two in the numerator but it's always one degree lower. All right, so what do we do first? You always multiply by the product of the denominators. Now, these two multiply to make that right there. So, therefore, you multiply by the product, it's gonna completely cancel the numerator on the left side. 74x equals a times 4x minus three plus b times 2x minus 1. All right, so from here, we're going to choose some nice x values. Uh, these are a little bit harder to choose, not impossible. So we want to zero out 4x minus 3. So we'll set it equal to 0 and figure out what zeroes it out. So add 3, divide by 4. So 3 fourths equals x. So we're going to let 3 fourths equal x. Now, we have an x on the left, so don't forget about that one. Uh, now here on the right side, a times, we just made this 0 with our choice. So you're going to get 0 plus b times 2 times 3 fourths force minus one. Okay, so that'll reduce a little bit. We have three halves minus one. Ooh, 74. What is that, 74? Oh no, brain's not working. It's two times 30 something, 35, 37. Yeah, two times 37. So, 74 uh, over four, that's two times 37 over two times two, twos cancel, 37 over two. Okay, so let's pretend like I didn't need to do that. Oh no, now I need to multiply 37 times three. My goodness, oh, arithmetic. Nine, oh look at that, one, 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 okay. So 111 over 2 equals b, 3 halves minus 1 is 1 half. So multiply both sides by 2, 111 equals b. Oh, very nice. All right, you can definitely uh, plug that b value back in on the original here for b. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? We already zeroed this out, so doing it again won't get you anything nice. What we're gonna do now is zero out this one. Now you can do the same thing. Uh, zero equals two x minus one. Uh, add one, divide by two. So you're gonna let one half equal x. Now everywhere you see x, you're gonna, you know, of course you're zeroing out the term I already circled, but one half's gonna go in there, one half's gonna also go in there, and you're gonna figure out what A value you need. And then that will be the uh, F, what did I call it? The F is the A, the first one's the A, the G is gonna be the B value.